Hello, Eric. Hello, Marvin. Hello, Santiago. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm great, teacher. Good evening, Hello. teacher. How about you? I'm doing great. We're back. We're ready. Finish the vacation from yesterday. Right? Yes, teacher. Uh-huh. Okay. So, what did you do? Uh, uh, did you go anywhere? Did you see anything? No, teacher, really. I'm staying, staying home. Oh, okay, Santiago. And what did you do at home? I play soccer with my, my with my son. We love soccer, teacher. How old is your son? Twenty years old. Ah, uh -uh. it's nice then. You get a chance to enjoy time with your son. Yes, that is the reason. Yeah, good. Anybody else? What else did you do yesterday? Did you go to the beach? Uh, go to the lake or the mountain. Only watch TV, watch TikTok, Netflix. It's okay to speak. It's not bad. You don't get in trouble for speaking. Everybody else. In my case, uh -huh. in my case, I, I stayed at home. And what did you do at home? Well, <clears throat> I did exercise and and I watched a uh, my series and watched uh, some movies. What series did you watch? I watched um. Uh, the Walking Dead, um, the Big Bang Theory. Okay. Ah, very different, right? The Big Bang Theory, funny, and The Walking Dead, more like a drama. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the terror, terror series, but mm -hmm. it's not like terror. Uh huh. All of the zombies, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm super excited to have everybody back. We are ready to begin unit four. We're going to take a moment and watch a small video about that. But before we do it, we're going to try with our partner. Quickly, just five minutes, asking and discussing. Partner, what did you do? Who did you do it with? How? Asking questions about our long weekend, okay? Okay, okay teacher. teacher. Perfect. Only five minutes just to catch up about our weekend. Hi, Nati. All right, tell me, so how was your weekend?
Uh huh. Morena, Dina, how was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. So, how was your weekend? Jose, how was your weekend? Dina, how was your weekend? Hello. Hello. Good evening. Um, you said Jose? Yes, how was your weekend? Oh, okay. Uh, was very nice. <clears throat> the weekend was very nice. Um, I could, I could visit my parents. Mm hmm. And where do your and, parents live? Um, I, I, I can understand. It. Where, where do your parents live? Ah, parents, uh, they live in Santana. Okay. Yes, and I, and I live here in San Salvador. And I spend my time um, <coughs> and take, and take out to dinner. Okay. Hey, that's good though, right? You get a chance to see your parents and relax with them. What do you like doing with your parents? Hmm. Um... Um, Hi, how are you? Good, and you? Uh, fine, thank you. We're taking a look yeah. at Jose. He went to visit his parents in Santa Ana, right, Jose? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And what do you like to do with your yeah. parents? Um... Speak more slowly, please. What do you like to do with your parents? Ah, uh, okay. Um, well, um, we we talking about a lot of things, and and we enjoy um, green coffee with bread. To have a a, a coffee. Yes, uh, having a, a pastime conversation. Mm -hmm. And um, we enjoy um, some lunch. Um, uh, my mom loves 
the, las tortas in the, in the Central Park. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, my father loved the coffee. And mm -hmm. uh, we have to, to make um, a little trip around in the center, in the center park, looking for tortas, looking for coffee. Hey, and do you always go to different places? Yes. Yes. Um, um to my parents uh they like walk they like walks and and walk around the park okay good well i hope just like our partner jose you had a nice time jose used the time to spend with his family with his mother and his father he went to go see them. I hope you had also a great time. Today, we're going to be beginning our unit four. In unit four, we're going to start by watching a small video of what we're going to learn and how to use it. So right now is the intro video for section four. This is starting today. As on the other sections, we have an intro video for you. Please take notes if you feel you need to. Enjoy. Hello? Yes, Pat. I'm working on that right now. Uh-huh. Okay. By five o'clock. Yes, okay. Thanks. What's up, Carmen? You look really stressed out. It's his job, Hugo. I'm constantly under pressure. My muscles are tense. My neck is stiff. My stomach is in knots. I just, I, I can't seem to relax. Yeah, stress is a killer. Well, one thing you could do is get some exercise. It's a great way to relieve tension. I tried that. Did it help? That's a long story. First, I tried skating. I love skating. How'd it work out? It didn't. Well, I'll say. Then I tried dance lessons. Oh, I love dancing. Me too. And so does my husband. But... But? He was a little too... enthusiastic. Uh-huh. Well... Have you thought about taking a yoga class? They say it's very relaxing. Yoga? Relaxing? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you see this paper clip? Yes. This is what I'd look like after my yoga class. Ouch. There's always <laughs> hypnotherapy. I've tried that too. Now, every time I hear the word ocean, it's supposed to relax me. Oh, and it works. The other day, I was in a meeting. Someone started talking about the environmental problems and the world's oceans. People said the word ocean so many times that I fell asleep. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. That must have been embarrassing. Now half the office knows. <sighs> See what I mean? I need to get the hypnotherapy reversed. Or I have an idea. You could try aromatherapy. What's that? It's like a massage, but they rub your skin with scented oils. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm allergic to perfume. <sighs> well, uh, it might be a good idea then for you to take some time off. Go on vacation. Rent a little house on the beach or something, you know, on the ocean. The ocean? Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll take a vacation. It's very relaxing. Lying on the beach. 
listening to the sounds of the ocean. 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 Hmm. Enjoy your vacation. So tell me quite a few things. Let's start off, okay? First, what is her problem? What is she having difficulty with? And she feels so stressful. Yeah, very stressed, right? Like, like many people. Many people get stressed at work. Uh -huh. And the man gives her many recommendations. What are some of the things that he says she can do? Yoga. Yoga. She should, she mm -hmm. should be practicing yoga or... <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Yoga, what else? So exercise. Exercise also, good. Mm -hmm. What other recommendations does he give her? Is there anything? anything? Food. Please repeat. Eat healthy food. Eat healthy food? No, he doesn't mention eating food. Ar aromatherapy. Aromatherapy, exactly. A massage, a massage with essential oils. That's correct. A massage with essential oils. Okay. Yoga. And yoga as well, yes. Now, what happened with the exercise? Why doesn't she do exercise? Teacher. Yes. She has a broken ankle. A broken ankle. How? How did she break her ankle? Skating, maybe? No, not skating. Maybe? No. She said something different. Not skating. She has an accident when she tries to dance with her husband. Correct. She had a problem with her husband dancing. Good. And what about yoga? Why does she, she do yoga? The movement doesn't like her. Okay. She doesn't like the movement. She doesn't like the movement. Okay, maybe. Good. So today we're going to learn at how to give opinions, recommendations, and describe our problems, right? I am stressed, I am tired, oh, I am sleepy, different things. We're going to see how to tell people and give and ask for different opinions. First, we're going to learn two words. The words are have or get, okay? Very common to use in English, have or get. The question is, which is correct? Do you have a massage? Do you get a massage, okay? So kind of like that. Let's find out the difference between have and get. Hello, ready to begin? I want to remind you that in English, we can say the same idea in another way. Does active and passive voice ring a bell? Stay and find out. Page 59, exercise three, grammar focus. Have or get something done. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. Okay, so we're going to learn a little bit about this idea, active and passive. You can think of active and passive is do the activity or receive the activity. 
we're going to learn a little bit in a moment, but always, as you can see, to describe a service, we can use the word have or get. We're gonna find out what is the difference in just a second. I know this is not new for you. Active and passive, remember? We have told you that in English, we may say the same sentence in another way. This time we will learn how to use active and passive using have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. As always, let's work on active first. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. We're using have plus someone plus base form of the verb. Let's type an example using get. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Moving on, we have passive. You can have or get your bike fixed. It's optional to write at or buy a shop. Have or get plus object plus past participles. It's optional to use at or buy. I want you to work in class. I want you to talk about two things you want to have done. Remember, you may type your answers on our discussion box. Okay, so what's the main idea? The main idea is when we're talking about other way and passives, mm -hmm. when we have this topic, the idea is the person in, is involved in active. For example, I can have Miguel, Andrea, Michelle, my mom, someone fix my bike. We've put the person. First is the person. When we have passive, we do not put the person. First, we put the object. Ah, I can have Andrea, Michelle, um, I don't know, Andres, fix, repair, uh, mend, whatever, my TV, my car. Uh, in the passive, we focus first in the object. I can have my car, TV, uh, motorcycle, and then the, the different objects fixed, repaired, uh, mended. Okay, this is going to be the main idea between active and passive. Have you heard of active and passive before? Um, yes. yes, teacher. Yes? Sure. Yes. Okay. So it's not new, right? Only if we just need to practice a little bit. The idea is first, if it's active, or it's passive. How do you know the difference? Remember, if the person does the action, it is active. If the person receives the action, it is passive. Do you feel confident that we can do? Teacher. Yes. Uh, sorry, it is not clear. Please repeat, explain. Of course, of course. Active is the person does the action. As an example, I punch the ball. I punch my laptop. I as active, I do the app, I do the activity. The passive focus in the laptop. The laptop was punched. The laptop was broken. The laptop was fixed. This is the idea. Active, focus on the person, who, okay? And passive is not focused on the person. Passive is focused on the object that received it. Is that better? Yes. Uh, so active, Person does the action. Correct. Yeah. Active and the person. passive uh, object receive, receive the action. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's clear. Okay. And the, the she say explain teacher um in the in the in the option in the passive option mm -hmm. we can add at or by. Is she refer about the 
the person who make the action in in the passive uh -huh. okay so in the passive the idea is the person we don't focus on the person we focus on the object so as an example your house okay so we're, we're thinking about the house ah we can say my house was cleaned this is the passive because we don't know who cleaned the house only the important is that the house was clean by me for example by me exactly uh, you can say okay. by me as an example correct right thank you you're welcome so if you look in our chat we have four links do you see the four links yes <clears throat> please open the links before we make the groups remember when we make the groups then we don't have access to the links Did you open the links? Yes, active. Yes. Passive. Correct. The first two links are super easy. The first two link is only to help you identify the difference. Is active or passive? Okay. The next links is for you to start using active or passive. You look at the sentence and then change it. Remember, the passive is not a time. You can have the passive in present, past or future or other times. It's not a time. The passive is a structure. The structure, the verb to be and the verb in the past participle. Okay, any questions before we begin the activities? It's clear, teacher. Good. So we have 10 minutes to complete the links. Try with our partner, 10 minutes to complete the links. Okay, so the hello.
Okay, any questions? Everything is okay? Teacher, uh, first lane is passive voice, number one. Number one what? Uh, exercise active to passive. The girl kicked the ball. The girl kicked the ball. Mm -hmm. Correct. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, teacher. No, no, no. Active voice, correct? Active voice. Um, next passive voice. No, remember okay. when the person does the action is active. The girl ah uh, is active. Begin with the activity. What is the activity? Active is activity. The girl kicked the ball. Okay. Okay. Sabriel. Guys, you have any questions? Everything is okay? Yes, you finished? No question? Hi, teacher. Hello? <laughs> My computer is it's broke. Está fallando. Ah, okay. <laughs> y ahorita ya creo que acabo de salir del lag. Okay, all right. We'll continue. Go ahead. Continue with Claudia and Dina. Try Okay. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Uh -huh. Vaya, en esta, oh, okay. program, exercise, exercise, passive, passive sentence. sentence. Questions, questions in passive. Yes, please. Ahí está. Compartilo. Ahí It's está okay. el segundo. Questions? Second one. Question, guys. Any questions? No. No. No, teacher. Thanks. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Any <That>. questions? <laughs> teacher, tenemos what? un pequeño problema. Yes, Karen. Okay. Say, Karen. Oh, sorry, Emerson. Mm. Uh -huh. <risa> lo que sucede es que nosotros logramos abrir solo el primer link uh -huh. entonces ya no tuvimos acceso a los, a los otros dos links ahí están ya los uh -huh. ok uh -huh. Aquí. 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 Yes. y por eso le digo abren uh -huh. todos los links porque cuando van al grupo <risa> desaparecen Ay, no, es que estas niñas, ustedes no ponen atención. Uh -huh. <risa> Pero continuamos con los que estaban en la página. Ok, ok. ¿Sí? Pero aquí ha mandado uno solo. No. No, pero se puede abrir. Dese con uh, Emerson. Ah, ok. Exercise Bears Passive. Ajá. Uh -huh. There are four different. Exactly. Only put. Only click. Eh, active. Upset and passive, upset and passive sentence. Correct. Somebody told a story. Mm -hmm. Somebody. Yes, it's a dog. My dog. Any questions? Um, in the, I, I don't know. Eh, quiero ver si puedo regresar la pregunta. No. Es que I don't remember the sentences. Is my dog was no my dog was walked every day mm -hmm. in this case the sentence is passive correct mm -hmm. yes. because the dog doesn't walk every day the dog someone take the dog for a walk mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes Okay. Ah, 
active or passive way. Okay. Do you feel more confident with active and passive? Uh, in my case, I feel a little bit confused because in the sentences that mention adopt, we put that is active, but the correct was passive and we don't understand why. Because the dog doesn't walk by itself. Someone take the dog to walk, not the dog walks. Uh, okay. So, and about the mm -hmm. other one, about the cat, was the cat is change, changing, changing a uh, mouse. This is active because the cat does not need, that the cat does not need help. The cat chases by itself no with the help okay thank you you're welcome so carla think about the phone call right super easy with the phone call it's easy to understand you call your mom who begin who begin the conversation you or your mom me that is active you begin who received the call? My mom. That is the passive. Mm. Active, active, always the person prepare, the person that does. Passive, the person receive, the person not in control. Uh, okay. Now, yes, thank you. You're welcome. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> Uh, okay. Thank you. Um, los en inglés le da más importancia a la acción. Por eso es que siempre se escribe primero eh, la acción y después quién la hace, ¿verdad? In general. No. Eh, let, me, let me help you. Okay. No, it's not for the action. Okay. Eh, en inglés es de acuerdo a qué sos o qué estás reportando. Vos sos eh, la policía, vos sos noticiero, vos sos reportaje. Entonces, a ti no te importa quién lo hizo, te importa qué sucedió. Eso es passive. Importa los hechos, no quién. Un camión mató a cinco personas, ¿verdad? O cinco personas eh, fueron matadas por un camión. Eso es la diferencia. Active and passive. And okay. Como, como policía, ¿ok? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó en, el, en la cosa? Ah, yo, yo no golpeé a Noé. Ah, ese carro, ¿ok? Me golpeó a mí. Ese es active, ¿ok? Yo fui golpeado por él. Lo recibí. A mí me asaltaron. Ah, fui asaltado por es, es similar de active and passive. Active, focus, and receive. Lo que me sucedió. What happened. The, sorry, this is the, the passive. The passive is I received it. The active is I did it. Okay. Te voy a dar el ejemplo con guantes. Tengo una amiga que hace guantes. Y eh, a ella le, le llaman para que haga un montón de guantes para eventos. La mayoría de gente no sabe quién los hace. No sabe quién los hace, ni les importa quién los hace. Solo quieren saber que los guantes fueron hechos, que fueron completados. Eso es todo, no quién los hizo. Ese es el passive. Solo el objeto y qué pasó con ese objeto. ¿Ok? En cambio, passive es la persona que la llama y la contrata. Ah, ese es acta, porque esa persona sí le importa quién lo está haciendo. Ok. It's ok? All right. Ok, perfecto. Okay, All right. Sure, thank you for the explanation. You're welcome. I know that it's a little difficult sometimes, but it's easy, as I mentioned with Carla, if you think of the phone call. When you call Pizza Hut, who call? Pizza Hut called you or you call Pizza Hut. So if you do is 
active. That's why A for active, the activity. I called Pizza Hut. The passive, Pizza Hut no hizo nada. Lo recibió. Pizza Hut, ah, Pizza Hut was called. This is the passive. So, so, or more examples. So far, so good, teacher. So far, so good? Yes. Okay. 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 Great. Now we have the opportunity to practice a making sentences with the active. We're going to make active sentences okay active questions active ideas so with your partner we have the activity and you have to select which is the correct form for active shorten my skirt here do you know where i can get someone to shorten my skirt or to short my skirt with your partner, you look at it. But remember the rule. The grammar is always, always, always when you have passive is the verb to be and the past participle. If you have the verb to be and the past participle, it is passive. If you have activity, is active. I called Pizza Hut, no verb to be, only activity. Pizza Hut was called, mm, passive, verb to be, and past participle. So with your partner, we have the opportunity to do all of the sentences. We have eight. We have a few moments with our partners, and we have to select the correct ones. It's okay? Hey, teacher. It's okay. Okay, good. Don't worry, it's a little difficult. That's why we practice. We practice to get better and better. Okay. Let's make some groups. There. Hi, teacher. No. <laughs> ya terminamos. Ya terminaron? Yes. Good. Any questions? It's okay? Uh, no, it's okay, teacher. Okay, good. Let me check the other groups and you can practice speaking 
And if the other group are finished, then we go and check together. Okay, see you later. See you later, okay. One shorten my skirt. My skirt. Ah, okay. You know. Shorten my skirt. Shorten my skirt. Shorten my skirt. Eh? And the second is, do you know where I can get someone to short my my skirt? My skirt. Ah, uh, um, yes. Short. One thing. And two. Cut um. my hair. Uh, for me, uh -huh. do you do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? I can get. Yeah, I I I think that the first. Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? Seven. Mm -hmm. Or six. My... No, seven. Seven. Yes, clean my leather jacket. Clean my leather, leather jacket. Which one? The first seven. or second? Second. Second, second. yes. Okay. You know where I can have someone to clean my leather jacket? Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a question. Tell me. Uh, I don't understand uh, when I can use get or have. Okay. So I can have is the object. I can get the person. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Get uh, my person. So, for example, I can have, um, I can have, or similar, right? You can have your jacket clean, or usually the people say, I can get someone to clean my jacket. Both of them are similar. The two oh. is to have or to complete the activity. It's very common to use the word have or get when you have both of them. Okay. It's the same function. So I, I have my jacket clean, I get my jacket cleaned. The same ideas. The same ideas. Exactly, the same get idea. Get for the person. Just usually the people use is the two are correct, but usually the people say, Oh, I'm going to I'm going to get my mom, my brother to help me. And then oh. I'm going to have and then the object, my car fixed. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I understand. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. The eight, no. The eight. I'm not agree. I'm not agree. I I think that is first one. First one. First Do one. You know yes. Where I can get someone to shorten my skirt. A skirt. Yes. But, but certain is in past. So, okay. Do you know where I can get someone to short my skirt? I think it's the second one because if you are telling someone that this sentence in the present, I think. Let's see the instruction. Imagine you want to have someone do these things for you. Just using the active form of have and get. Mm. I don't know. I think it's second one. Let's okay. try the, the number two. Number three. Three or five. Prepare my little jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you know do you know where I can have someone to clean my little jacket? Mm -hmm. Yes. Vale, le vamos a preguntar number eight. Take care of my pets while I'm away. Do you know 
Where do you know where I can get someone that take care of my pet while pet I'm so away? Y el otro dice, do you know where I can ha have someone to take care of my pets while I'm away? Mm -hmm. I have, right? The second one. The second one, pero es lo mismo, cabal. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry, we're going to check right now. We're going to check. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because we don't want to... Okay, we're going to check in this moment and make sure that everybody understands why and what is correct. First, I hear many groups have a little confusion with have and get. No problem. We can see 4.1, the video for have and get. Okay. You can have your bike. Now, if you see it's similar, we can use the word have or get. Look. Is the same idea. Have and get are same ideas. Only that it's very common to get a person to do it or have. How do we use it? Well, we use have and get to have a service. This is a service completed. An example, my house. I want to change the color of my house. I can have someone paint my house or I can get someone to paint my house. It's the same meaning. We're going to see a little bit more of examples first. Have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. As always, let's work on active first. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. We're using have plus someone plus base form of the verb. Let's type an example using get. You can get a repair. So what do we use? Have, someone, and base form. Base form, okay? That's the important with have. Example using get. You mm -hmm. can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Moving on, we have passive. You can have or get your bike fixed. It's optional to write at or buy a shop. Have or get plus object plus past participles. It's optional to use. So what is the difference? Have base form. Have base form. Have someone fix. Have someone clean. Have someone repair. But with Example get, using it. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Get plus someone plus infinitive verb. Ah, what is the difference? No base form. With get, what is the grammar? Infinitive. What is infinitive? To and the verb. So the grammar, that's two of the same ideas. But with get is with to. With have is only the verb. Let's check some answers to make sure it's clear. Okay. Number one. What was number one? Do you know where I can get oh, someone to shorten my skid? Okay. Good. Number two. Do you know where I where can, I can get, get someone? someone? To cut, to cut cut my hair. my hair. Good. Pronunciation, cut. Cut. Good. Remember, get infinitive. Have base form. Number three. Do you know where I can get someone to repair my watch? Okay. Good. Number four. Do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter? Okay, okay. Number five. 
Do you know where I can get someone to take my passport photo? Good. Number six. Do you know where I can get someone to measure my neck? Good. Pronunciation, massage. Massage. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Do you know where I can have someone to clean my little jacket? Okay. Pronunciation, leather. 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 And the last one, number eight. Do you know where I can have someone to take care of my pets while I'm away? Okay, pretty good idea. All right, as we can see here, those are the right answers. The most important is here, even in the platform, not everything is correct. We have a few mistakes, but we are we are correct with the ideas. But remember, do you know where I can have someone is not to clean the correct grammar? They put two, but no. Is have someone clean. Get someone to clean. Okay. So remember, have verb in present. Get the verb with to, the verb with to. Don't worry, we're going to pause right now. And tomorrow we're going to continue. We're going to buy, tomorrow we're going to continue with the activities and practice a little bit more the active and the passive. Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, All right, guys. Thank you okay, so much. Teacher. I'm Thank glad you. Thank back. you, teacher. Bye, Thank you. Teacher. Good night. Night. Bye.